This simple math problem may just be a little bit harder to solve than you think. Okay, so without using a calculator, let's see if we can figure it out. So we have 2 to the 6th power minus 2 to the 5th power, all of this all over 4. Okay, now if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the full solution in just one second. Matter of fact, I want to show you a few different ways to solve this problem. But before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we're not going to use a calculator. So we have 2 to the 6th power minus 2 to the 5th power. This is the numerator in this fraction. And then, of course, we're going to divide all of this by 4. So one approach to solve this problem could be the following. All right, so we have 2 to the 6th minus 2 to the 5th. So we have these uh, powers up here, and they both have the base of 2. So maybe what we need to do is subtract these exponents. So in other words, 2 to the 6 minus 2 to the 5th is going to be equal to 2 to the 6 minus 5, which, of course, is 1. So that seems pretty logical. So we have 2 to the 6 minus 2 to the 5th. So maybe this is equal to 2 to the 1st, which, of course, is 2. So now we have 2 over 4. And, of course, we can reduce this fraction down to 1 half. All right, so what do you think? You think this looks pretty good? Well, if you do, unfortunately, you are wrong. All right, so there is no property of powers and exponents where you can add or subtract powers by subtracting uh, exponents, all right? So you don't want to confuse this with multiplying powers, all right? So when you're multiplying powers with the same base, you can actually add the exponents. But when you are subtracting powers with the same base, well, there is no property. All right, so what do we need to do here? Well, what we need to do is figure out what these values actually are. So we have 2 to the 6th and 2 to the 5th. So these are actual numeric values. So what are they? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at how to figure out what 2 to the 6th and 2 to the 5th are. All right, so 2 to the 6th means take 2 and multiply it by itself 6 times. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if we take 2 and multiply it by itself 6 times, we have 64. Now 2 to the 5th is take 2 and multiply it by itself 5 times, and of course you'll get 32. All right, so 2 to the 6th is equal to 64, and 2 to the 5th is equal to 32. So our problem really is this. So 2 to the 6th minus 2 to the 5th is equal to 64 minus 32, and of course, this is our numerator, so this will all be over 4. So now that we know the actual values of these powers, all we have to do is subtract these numbers up in the numerator. Okay, so we have 64 minus 32, all of this over 4, so now the arithmetic will be very easy. All right, so 64 minus 32, of course, is 32, and 32 over 4 is equal to 8, or 32 divided by 4 is 8. All right, so this is the correct answer, and if you got this right, well, that is fantastic. I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face and an A+. Plus. But uh, let's take a look at another way we can solve this problem using some properties of powers and exponents and factoring. Now, before I finish this problem, take a quick second and consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. And the whole reason I want my channel to grow on YouTube is so I can reach as many people as possible and help them in mathematics. I look at every person that uh, has subscribed. Now, by the way, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. But if you do subscribe to my channel, I consider all of you like students of mine. So I really try to be conscientious and post high quality math content. And my channel covers everything from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. Now, if you need math support, if you really need to learn mathematics, you definitely have to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And if you are going to subscribe, 
Make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get alerts when I post a new video. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. Now, another approach to solve this problem depends on your ability to factor and your understanding of powers and exponents. So I showed you a uh, direct uh, way to solve this problem by just evaluating these powers. But what we can do is factor out the greatest common factor. So we have two to the sixth and two to the fifth. And the greatest common factor between these two values is two to the fifth power. Now, if you don't understand factoring and the greatest common factor, you may want to do some review. This is critically important, especially in algebra. But basically, we can factor out a 2 to the 5th from this difference. So 2 to the 5th times parentheses 2 to the 1st minus 1 is this numerator factored. All right, so 2 to the 5th is the greatest common factor. Now, if we use the distributive property and multiply 2 to the 5th back in, we're going to get 2 to the 5th times 2 to the 1st. Now, when you're multiplying powers, what you're going to do if the bases are the same, and of course the bases here are the same too, you're going to add the exponent. So 2 to the 5th times 2 to the 1st is 2 to the 6th. So 2 to the 5th times 2 to the 1st is 2 to the 6th, and then a 2 to the 5th times 1 is 2 to the 5th. All right, so if you understand this factoring right here, well then we can solve this problem pretty easily. Okay, so 2 to the first is what? Well, that's just 2. So we have 2 minus 1, which of course is 1. So what we really have here is 2 to the fifth divided by 4. Now, of course, we know that 2 to the fifth is 32. So now we have 32 divided by 4, which of course is 8. But again, if you understand powers and exponents, we can look at it this way. All right, so again, uh, two, uh, 2 to the first minus 1 is simply all going to be 1, or just going to be 1. So now we have 2 to the fifth over 4, but we can write 4 as 2 squared. All right, now when you are dividing powers with the same base, you subtract the exponents. So the answer here is going to be 2 to the 5 uh, minus 2, which of course is 2 cubed, or 8, because this is 2 times 2 times 2 which of course is A. All right, so a lot of different ways to approach this problem. And of course, it all depends on your skill level. But uh, one uh, way that you should have been able to do this problem if you have basic understanding of uh, powers and exponents is simply to evaluate these powers and recognize that we are dealing with numeric values. So if you figured out that two to the six is 64, and 2 to the 5th is 32. Well, here we have a simple numeric expression. All right, now, if you need help with powers and exponents or basic math, make sure to check out the courses in the description of this video. Those would include my Math Skills Rebuilder course, my Math Foundations course, my Pre-Algebra course, and Algebra 1 course. That's pretty much the level that we're talking about here. But uh, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.